Hey Jim, uh, Malcolm Bernie here from Title Solutions. Uh, thanks for reaching out. You know, it's a pleasure to help out guys who stepped out and became their own boss. You know, um, I think I think it takes a lot of courage to do that. So, uh, so I'll be more than happy to help. Um, you know, so I put together this quick video just to go over three things that can be implemented that uh, will get new customers to your site first instead of your competitors. And um, these are things that you know you're definitely more than able to. Uh, you know, take care of yourself, but um, but if you'd like for Title Digital Solutions to um, you know, just to handle for you, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You know, you could always Facebook message me or um, you know, just uh, send me an email. Uh, anything, all my information will be attached to this uh, to this video, and we'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, you know, reach the goals for you, uh, yourself and your company. Um, if not, no harm, no foul at all. You can still use these tips that I give in this video, um, all I ask is that you just give a little feedback, you know, just let me know if you find this information beneficial. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. Now, the three things that I want to go over today is content, citations, and backlinks. Uh, so content, is this anything that we see on the page as far as uh, pictures and words go? Um, and you just want to make sure that you have uh, enough unique, uh, relevant, and high quality content. And uh, Google likes to see anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 words on the uh, on any searchable page. Um, so it looks like you you know you have a good amount of content. The uh, the website looks great. Um, uh, just uh, another thing, the um, you know you just want to make sure that you include keywords and phrases uh, that are searched for by uh, by the customers who are in search of your uh, your services. And that's what enables you to be found by the search engines. Uh, you know, such as Google. Uh, because they have programs that crawl through each and every um, web page to see what it should be ranked for. And they search through the words, but they also search through the pictures. Because a lot of people don't know that you can save your photos as uh, keywords. Okay? Um, keywords such as, you know, mold, mold removal, uh, Wilmington, uh, NC. I say uh, that's a popular keyword for your, uh, you know, for your particular niche in your area. And um, just with that being said, we can go over this Google page, uh, uh, and we um, and we have the uh, you know the ad section. Um, you know, um, you know, t typically depending on the service uh, that you know that people are searching for, sometimes they will click the ad, sometimes they don't. So it's fairly hit or miss. And uh, we also have here the uh, the map pack, All right? And this is where the citations come into play. Okay. And all the citation is is your business name, address, and phone number anywhere on the internet. Uh, typically, a directory, uh, for example, like Facebook uh, business page, Yelp, um, Yellow Pages. And uh, there's a, a long list of them that I'll actually send out to you. Um, it's on uh, White Spark, so you're able to see, you know, just a, a long list of uh, citations that can be used. Okay, and um, and you know, just like that tool, there's plenty of other tools that will allow you to see which citations your your competitors are using. And you know, um, if it works for them, it'll work for you as well. Uh, it's just the more the merrier. So uh, if you see like they have 30, you definitely want to go for like 60 or something like that, and you'll definitely beat them out on the uh, on the map pack. And then also, you want to make sure that uh, that it's optimized uh, as much as possible. And to do that, oh, hold on. let me just bring it over here. And to do that, you just want to make sure that your uh, your Google My Business listing is completely filled out. You want to make sure that you, you know you have the address, hours, phone number. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you have a lot of photos, and you want to make sure that that the photos are um are are, are tagged with the location. And also, you want to make sure that uh. That you have all of your your categories listed, um, you know, like uh, like water damage restoration service. This is a list of each and every category on Google My Business, and I'll send this list to you as well. And uh, you can search through it just in case. So you just want to make sure that um that there's nothing that you missed because there can be somebody who um who's searching for your service, and it may be a secondary service. So you don't want to you want to make sure that you don't forget that. So let's see if uh, mold molding. Classic mold injection. There's no mold remediation. What's going on? Remediation. I guess not. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah. 
we can definitely um well you can check that list you know just for you know just a lot of other things you could just hit a control or command f to find it i mean to just open up the find tab and then uh you can search okay so here next is the organic listing and that's where backlinks come into play and i'll come over to my tool here there's a tool called arefs um it allows me to see the uh, the backlink profile of uh, of any website and all the backlink is is a, a web page that's linking back to your to your site it's saying that you're the go-to company for uh you know like let's say uh water damage restoration in wilmington or in you know uh uh, Brooklyn, New York, or Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, so it's just kind of like a um, like a recommendation for your site. And the more recommendations you have, and the more uh, quality recommendations, Google will uh, put you in more searches and higher in the searches. And um, once those are in play, that's when they'll search you. F they'll, they'll begin to search for your keywords. Oh, before I go into the keywords, let me just show how we can see. Via the backlinks, and all the referring domain is a it's a website that holds your backlinks. So all of the backlinks are in the referring domains. Alrighty then, so we have your page up here first. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of interlinking, which is which is good. That allows you to be um, searched uh, for a lot of words. So we're able to take a look through here. All right, so definitely um, a lot of good links, um, and that's and I and I see that that's why you're being searched for a lot of keywords. So it's just the keywords are well. This is like a national um, keyword, so that's why you're getting a lot of a. Uh, it's it's showing a lot of volume, but you know you can you can there can be somebody who who you may show up on their on their search on their search and they can be in like california or something like this so since this is a national keyword so that's why you want to have niche specific and location specific keywords so you definitely want to be searched for something like this and they have a there's 60 uh, 60 searches it's a fairly easy um keyword to rank for so you could definitely jump up with that you have water damage you know uh, nc there's 10 there, water damage restoration, there's 20 there, whatever, restoration, mode remediation. So this is another uh, big one. So being on the first page of that, you'll probably get about 20% of this. So like, let's say anywhere between like 20 to 20 to 15, uh, well, 15 to 20, and um, that'll be like recurring every month. Okay, um, so we can jump over to your, uh, to your competitor. We see that they have, you know, less backlink, less referring domains, but and less keywords, but more traffic. So we see motor mediation. So they're up top for the for the um for a good one. They're getting ten traffic, and nineteen in total. You know, and for their um, you know, for their branded name. But they also have the location in there, which is good. Water damage. So in total, they're they're getting about. Getting about 20, um, 20 folks per month, and that's just from the organic listing. And also, you, you get a, you get a lot more from being in this Google My Business. But, but being at the top of organic will also help you getting to the top of the uh, the Google My Business listing. Okay, so uh, I hope this information has been informative for you, Jim. Uh, like I said, you're free to use these tips. Uh, no harm, no foul. Um, but if uh, if you'd like to get together and just see how Title Digital Solutions can help, uh, you know, just to uh, uh, bring you to your goals, uh, give me a call. Reach back out to me. Um, you know, and uh, you know, we could uh, we could definitely chat. Okay. So thanks again, Jim, and have a great day.